Hi Scorpio, this is your monthly March tarot reading. I do five separate spreads in my monthly readings. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship or marriage. I'll do an X spread. We'll talk about your work, your business, and your finances. And we'll get you an advice for the whole month of March. Please like, subscribe, and share this video to support this channel. This first spread is a new love this month. We have the world, we have uh, death, clarified by the sun, we have the will of fortune in the potential outcome, we have the ace of pentacles with the chariot and the king of swords, and we also have the two of cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with uh, cancer, or an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. This looked really familiar, Scorpio, and uh, I gotta be honest with you, this looks almost exactly like the new love spread from, the, from my weekly a reading for you for, for this week, the, the week this reading is posted for, right, the February 21st, 27th. So this pretty much confirms that this King of Swords is coming into your life. <laughs> you can re-watch that video um, or just stay here. Uh, we'll talk about what's going on here. Yeah, this person is the one for you. Everything points to that. We do it. We even have a couple of repeat cards. You know, I just paused the video before I started this interpretation and I checked yeah a couple of repeat cards this is a different deck I use different decks and uh, it's been a few days since I did that uh, reading since I did that spread yeah it's the same same person <laughs> okay so the king of swords right next to the deck um, it, probably an air sign Gemini Libra or Aquarius if it's not an air sign then this is somebody who is very straightforward very direct you know, they could be harsh at times, but at the same time, they always keep their words. You can re always rely and count on this person. That's the King of Swords coming into your life. And this person will change your life forever, you know. We have the World card. We have the Wheel of Fortune card here. The World card, the first card I came out. This is my Happy End card. This is one chapter of your life coming to an end. And a new, really happy chapter of your life is about to begin. The Wheel of Fortune in the middle is, yeah, it's the start of a new cycle. A very fortunate new cycle. The Wheel of Fortune is always good news in my spreads. We have Death right next to the World. That's your card, Scorpio. That's you. And it's always a good sign to have your own card in your own reading. And I clarified... Death asking, so how will Scorpio feel about this whole situation? And the sun came out, literally, right? <laughs> the sun is the happiest card in the deck. It's the happiest card in the deck, Scorpio. All right, the Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck is a card of a soulmate connection. It's a card of unconditional love. It's a card of two people on the same page in love with each other. The Ace of Pentacles, the first card in the potential outcome. This is a proposal. There's no other way to interpret this. Other than the proposal, we got so many major arcana cards on the table. One of them is your personal card, and the other ones are amazing major arcana cards by themselves and especially together, you know. Uh, so the Ace of Pentacles is definitely a proposal, right? A very serious Ace. To me personally, the Ace of Pentacles is the Ace of all Aces. I don't mean to belittle <laughs> any other Aces, but this Ace is like a package, like a bundle. All Aces combined into one. Then we got the Chariot. The Chariot is the personal Cancer card. You could be dealing with the Cancer. The Chariot is also a card of uh, victory, right? This is a card of moving forward. It's uh, actually one of the fastest cards in the deck, so it's all about moving forward and not looking back. The two of you could be um, moving, obviously moving in together. You could be relocating to some other place. Um, perhaps the two of you live in different neighborhoods in the same city and uh, when the two of you do move in together you will choose yet another neighborhood something like that the chariot could also be your honeymoon uh, trip <laughs> right so yeah I'm not gonna waste any, any more of your time um, because this is pretty much a confirmation that this person is coming in this king of swords um, yeah really happy for you Scorpio congratulations Scorpio, if you are already married or if you are in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have the Ace of Cups, we have the Eight of Pentacles, we have the Eight of Wands, and we also have the Three of Cups on the bottom of the deck. It kind of looks like multiple events represented here by different cards. <laughs> Some of you could be going to um, an event, a party, or a gathering, or a reunion. Um, you could be, and by going, I mean you could be traveling, like long distance. Right? Now, for others of you, you'll be working hard and then playing hard. Um, then there is definitely a lot of love here. You could be hearing, I love you for the first time. 
and uh, or if you haven't heard I love you in a long time <laughs> you'll hear it again uh, so it could be like some sort of a revival or rejuvenation of your relationship or marriage it's all good here it's all good you know the ace of cups the first card I came out this is a card of genuine authentic love somebody could be confessing their love to you for the first time if you're just casually dating uh, or somebody who um, if you've been together for a while, um, they may uh, sort of do something to show you that they still love you, right? Uh, the Eight of Pentacles in the middle, this is a card of work, business, and finances. So, yeah, you'll be working um, this month. Um, this is also a card of working on your relationship, especially if it did become stale or boring. So, there will be something that uh, revives your relationship with that Eight of, eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Wands right next to the deck, this is a card of trouble or this is a card of communication. The Three of Cups on the bottom of the deck, it could be a card of a reunion or some sort of a celebration. It could be the two of you celebrating your love for each other. Um, or you could be going to some sort of an event or a celebration or a gathering, right? And uh, the other one, since I said, since like I said, it could be a card of long distance. You could be traveling long distance. It's not a bad, uh, it's not a bad spread, you know. Like I said, everything here is good, <laughs> especially with that Ace of Cups. All right, um, so yeah, have a good time. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Scorpio, uh, in the month of March. Keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago, so it doesn't have to be the most recent X. We have the Magician, we have the Knight of Pentacles, uh, clarified by the Ace of Pentacles, we have the Four of Pentacles, and uh, we also have the Page of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Um, you could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. So we've got plenty of Earth, it's actually so earthy here, you can plant a tree. And uh, this person wants you back and they want you all to themselves. <laughs> it's kind of like a borderline obsession going on with this person. Perhaps uh, they just can't live without you and this time apart made them realize that. Right? Um, and uh, here they come. The Page of Cups on the bottom of the deck. This is a card of an apology. This is also a bouquet of flowers. <laughs> it's also them uh, asking you out. Um, so... It could be like on the casual level, they'll say, hey, what are you doing? Let's catch up, let's grab that cup of coffee, let's grab lunch together, um, let's go for a walk in the park, something like that, you know. And uh, they are disguising the real situation, right? They, th what they actually want, like I said, they want you all to themselves. <laughs> Um, the Magician, the first card I came out, this is them manifesting you back into, your, into their life. And uh, the Magician is also a card of action. So they are going to be taking action towards you. And uh, the uh, Knight of Pentacles, clarified by the Ace of Pentacles, is that action. Right? A very serious offer, to be honest with you. You know, it doesn't get any... I don't think it gets any serious than that. Because the Ace of Pentacles is uh, the ace of all aces, if you ask me. I don't mean to belittle any other aces. But it's like all aces combined into one. Um, the ace of pentacles could be a proposal, you know. Um, and uh, cl clarifying the knight of pentacles, this is a confirmation of how serious this person is about you. And it's kind of symbolic that the cards came out the way they did, right? The knight of pentacles is holding out a pentacle, and uh, the ace of pentacles is exactly the pentacle we see in that knight of pentacles, right? It's like we're zooming in. And uh, this is a way of the universe to tell you to just sort of confirm that, yeah, this person really, really wants you back. And they're not only going to be wa uh, talking the talk, they're going to be walking the walk, right? Um, because the Knight of Pentacles is the most serious, the most stable, the most grounded down to earth, but at the same time financially abundant knight. And the Four of Pentacles right next to the deck. I think this is their energy as well. You see how that person in the Four of Pentacles is holding on to that pentacle? And that's the way that this person wants to hold on to you and never, ever, ever let you go again. <laughs> right? I don't know what you're going to do, Scorpio, about it. But, um, yeah, I think this person means business. They do mean business. Right? The real deal this time around. All right? It's going to be up to you. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Scorpio, um, in the month of March. We have the Six of Cups, we have the Emperor, we have the Five of Swords, clarified by the Seven of Swords, and we have the Ten of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Aries, 
Oh, Scorpio, you got to be careful this month. Um, the Emperor, um, the Emperor could be an Aries. It's the personal Aries card, or the Emperor is a figure of authority. You know, and uh, it could be your ex-boss, or it could be somebody who works for a financial institution and say they are a bank manager or they're like a mutual fund manager somebody big right and uh, this person is up to no good you already know this person the six of cups the first card i came out this is a card of somebody coming back from the past perhaps this person screwed you over in the past and this time around they'll say you know what it didn't work out uh, last time but this time it's the real deal no it's not I don't know if they're intentionally or unintentionally, but uh, they're going to, it's not going to go anywhere. Whatever this person has to offer, just say no and don't even bother with them, right? The Five of Swords was the last card I came out and it's clarified by the Seven of Swords, you know? And we also got the Ten of Swords on the bottom of the deck. The Five of Swords is a card of, of you know... Um, a Pyrrhic victory. You can look it up, what Pyrrhic victory means. It's from a long time ago. And uh, it's also occurred, so they may try to win at any cost, basically, right? But at the same time, uh, the Five of Swords is a card of somebody who walks away, and that could be you just not having anything to do with them. And uh, you may have to say a few words on the way out. The Seven of Swords is what you're trying to avoid. The Seven of Swords is a card of a cheater, it's a card of a deception, it's a card of a liar, it's a card of a thief, right? And uh, the Ten of Swords on the bottom of the deck, this is a card of an abrupt ending. So I think this is the most important card in this spread. This is what the uh, this is the suggestion for you to just shut it down, block this person, don't even bother with this person. Um, so yeah, be careful. Be careful with uh, with offers, especially when it comes to people coming back from the past. All right, cool. Here's an advice or a word of wisdom for you, Scorpio, for the whole month of March. Uh, we have the Queen of Cups. We have the Seven of Cups, clarified by the Ten of Wands. We have the Six of Wands, clarified by the Fool. And we have the Devil on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Capricorn or pretty much any zodiac sign. This could be directly or indirectly related to you. It's a very specific message. Scorpio, so pay attention. The Devil on the bottom of the deck could be a, a Capricorn you're dealing with, but... I think the devil in this case, together with the uh, Seven of Cups and the Ten of Wands, this is an addiction or a bad habit or a toxic person that you have in your environment or a toxic situation, um, a drinking problem, substance abuse problem, you know. So I think uh, the advice is to let it go in March. The March, for whatever reason, is the best month to conquer it. And like I said, it could be an advice for you, or it could be an advice for someone you love. Perhaps you can help them to free themselves, to re liberate themselves, right? So yeah, the devil is something toxic, or an addiction, or an environment, or a bad person in your environment. The Queen of Cups, the first guy that came out, that would be you, right? Male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. The Seven of Cups with the Ten of Wands. Um, the Ten of Wands is a card of a uh, burden, so you've been carrying this burden for a while, I guess, or the person um, in your environment has been struggling with it, because the Ten of Wands is also a card of struggle, right? The Seven of Cups, it could be, you know, drinking, substance abuse, perhaps uh, your judgment has been clouded, or the person you're dealing with, their judgment has been clouded, and perhaps with the Seven of Cups, it's time for you to uh, choose a way out, you know. Somebody may offer you different options on how to conquer it. Or it could be you offering multiple options to the person, to the, uh, to the loved one, right? And uh, the six of ones clarified, clarified by the fool, this is you or the person you're helping is conquering it. You know, the six of ones is a card of victory, it's a card of success. And the fool in this case is a card of liberation, cutting the cord and letting go, letting go of that devil energy. So yeah, like I said, a very specific um, message, Scorpio. So if it's it's for you, then it's for you. Or if you know someone who needs help, perhaps you can help them out. Perhaps you can guide them or assist them in some way. 
But if this is for you, for whatever reason, March is going to be the best time to quit smoking, to stop drinking, to stop the abuse, to stop going to that casino, what have you. It's not going to be easy, but you can do it. March, for, for whatever reason, is the best time. All right, so yeah, that's what I got for you, Scorpio, for um, this month. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Scorpio, have an amazing March. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing, and subscribing.